thank you so much for watching these videos. My name is Kamiya Simon Peter and let's proceed. All right, so recently we created our app and we ended with the touchable component and I felt like I don't want to bore people. I want to bring examples and this is how we're going to do it. All right, so today we're going to look at component compositioning. Now, we talked about components. So these are the default components that come with you and they come with their props or with their elements. How about us now creating component, reusable components or reusable views? That's how I can uh, state it. So that a view can be indicated as a component and reused anywhere you need it. Right, so this is our app. You can click and tap a number of times and then we have a count. So this is what we have. What we're going to do, I already made subdivisions in our application. For example, this is the header, this is the slider section, this is the category section and the bottom. So I'm trying to make a representation here and I show you. So this is going to be our main page the moment someone launches the application. Okay, they're going to come to this as the main page. Now, how do I put other things that I want to surface on the main page? Okay. This is how you do it. One, so we have the application page. It can be any page, not only the main page. And we have the search area, the categories, and the bottom tabs. Okay, the bottom menu. So these, whatever appears here, can be built as a component, as a component in something else. For example, I may want the search area to be almost everywhere, or the bottom menus to be almost everywhere on each page that I create. Okay, so what do I do? I create a special component for that uh, bottom page or the category section or, and I just call it whenever I need it. Okay, so I can even click a button and it takes me to whichever property that component is asking it to do. All right, so without wastage of time, I'll go straight to the application and we start. So... Creating a component in view is easy. I make sure that that is there. All right, so I'm going to do a cleanup so that I remove the search area and I remain with the, with the four sections that I decided to have. I may want something up here or not. That's up to you. All right, so let me clear everything. Alright, so to create a component, we're going, it's going to be easy. We're going to come back to our browser. Then I'm going to create one major folder and I call it app. How does app help? The moment our, so our application crashes, uh, we may take time. You, sometimes you may debug and almost everything you're trying to debug is failing. So what do you do if you have your app because most of the thing the things that fail the application may not even come from your components that's your logic it may be coming from the software itself the uh the whole composition of view itself okay or you want to go to uh, another view project most of the logic won't change the only thing that will change will be the um uh, imported modules the npm modules so why don't you stay with the logic and you, you bring back the modules but stay with the structure. So this is what I do. I create what they call an application folder. All right, so I'm not creating it there. So I'm just going to come and choose this. Then I create a new folder and I call it app. Okay, I can even call it baby app, something of the sort. So I press enter. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move some of the things into that app folder. For example, the assets. I want every time I'm looking for the assets. Okay. So I've moved that there. All right. So I'll need to go into assets if assets is already in app. So it's moving, I think, and the icons, so, which means I, I, I'll need to go and then um, indicate the icons where I want them to be. All right, so this loading may take time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move it. Uh, I'm going to stop uh, my bundler here. 
so that uh, the copying is done otherwise what it what it is finding it's finding issues because of um, this all right so it has moved it so which means now my assets all my images will be in the same folder but still you can see that the server cannot the server will give errors because it won't find some of the icons during the launch time okay so we're going to see how we can update that but that is easy you just need to come and update and update them for example in in some of the pre-launches okay so you just need to come to app.json okay and make sure you find the correct links for example it was in assets okay all right let me first let me first run the application and then we see which errors it is giving us all right so i'll start the bundler again all right so let me launch the application and we shall see when we get the errors because it cannot find can no longer find the icon you can see those are the issues all right so it is loading but we haven't even seen our flash screen okay so to correct such this is what we're going to do so we come to app.json here okay and then we find those now it's no longer in assets but it's in app okay stroke assets app so i'm just adding that to the link stroke assets okay so that is for the icon the uh, flash screen foreground and background image so still app stroke assets Fav icon up stroke assets and then I save. All right, so I'm going to go back and refresh, and then I'm going to run the emulator again. So let's see this time around when it launches our application. All right, so there's one it can't see, okay. All right, so I've forgotten one thing. I was supposed to stroke here. I didn't stroke. Uh, sorry about that. So it's supposed to be dot app stroke. Just like that, dot app stroke. All right, so I'll save all and then come here and double press ARA so that it launches again so this time around you can see we have the icon and then it has launched all right so now that that is solved i'm going to make sure that most of my content is within app folder all right so this is app assets okay now inside the app again i want to create another folder okay so let's also go to our um, item and then we see what we have um, so I'm going to create another folder apart from the assets folder and I'm going to call this components or comps that bit depends on you uh, let me call it comps so that you do not confuse it with the incoming components so it's the comps folder right so inside the comps folder it's under assets inside the comps folder this is what I'm going to do I'm going to create a file. I can even create a subfolder inside there. I'm going to create a file and I call it categories. I think let me start with, okay. Categories dot view. All right. So categories dot view is already present, but empty. And all I need to do is fill it with a view template. Okay. So that's the view template. We talked about having a template and then besides having a template, we need to have a script tag. Okay. And then 
besides also that we need to have a, a style okay the style tags all right so it is easy now we need to have a division so in this case we need to have a view okay and inside that view we're going to add text maybe and uh, we shall call let me add an image let me add an image so that we see whatever we want so it's going to be a sort of closing image and uh, remember how we call an image okay you first v bind it so that's the v bind and then so by putting a double colon i've already bound it okay so we v bind it with the source okay and then the source will equal to in a string and then those brackets and then inside there we want to have a uri okay and then that uri will equate to a single quote string which is supposed to be the image that we are referencing so i'm going to take um, the image of a baby copy image address all right and then come and paste it here so how do we view this the other side a uh, simple thing uh, now i'm going to call import this here so what i do i come inside or oh, where's my app dot view okay so i can remove away this uh, kind of browsing thing so i come inside the script tag okay and then i import okay inside the script tag i import what do i import i give it a variable now that is going that is going to be used for example i'm going to import uh, maybe b eh? okay cut page short for category page from where from now we need to get it from assets so from app okay dot app dot stroke app so you can see it's already completing stroke now it can see that we have other folders which is comps and then what do we need we need the categories dot view see that all right so we're now going to use this cut page so we're now going to use that cut page do not forget to terminate here and before during the time of exporting the default we want to have something so rather than data and methods and uh, the loading of this of the whole component we want also to have a component so we're indicating that we will have components and among the components we have we have one called cut page wow so i need to put a comma here as simple as that but it is not reflecting here what is the issue so we need to go in our cut page in the view of the category page now we cannot see anything here reason why we have not loaded our component so all i have to do is come and load our component so our component is called cut page okay so i just load cut page and i give it a self-closing tab right when i refresh we are seeing nothing simply because in our categories we did not give the image some properties such as the styling so if i style that image to have a width of uh, two of 100 percent And a height of 340 and then I save you can see the image I can even give this whole image a touchable opacity and we have the same count like we had so it's in another it's in the cut page all right so I'm going to simply create a touchable opacity
touchable opacity. All right. Around the image source. All right, so it's now touchable. Now, we can go back and again and again do the script by first of all returning what do you need to return you're returning data so the data you're returning okay all right so the first thing we need to do we, we need to have data sorry okay so we're making data all right and data is returning data okay so this is a function all right so you may not need to write all that but that there are different ways of write, uh, writing uh, remember i told you about how to write a function so inside here we're going to put one that is called c okay is equal to that and then remember we need to create our method so c is not equal c <laughs> colon that and remember we need to write our method okay so i'm going to write method okay and then the method can be this dot c is equal to remember this dot c plus one plus one so this is in a method and the method is called click me touch me i'll just write it like that and then like that okay so touch me okay so touch just like that so which means i can come here and write our on press i bind it so it's on press is equal to touch touch that's how i wrote it Okay, so in press is equal to touch. So all I need to do is come down here in the same view and I add a text component. All right, and then that text component is going to bind. So what I do, I do a V model. V model, which will equal to okay c all right so which means here i can call c again all right so equal to nothing when i click you can see we have one when i click we are adding one and one and one all right so it's adding this because i've not given c a value so i need to give c a value of zero seven refresh but remember this is in the categories and categories is being called as a component here so voila and that's how we're going to continue with our project. Stay tuned for the next video. Let's meet again. Okay, so we're going to be creating some of the few items apart from components. We're going to create uh, bottom tabs here. Okay, and then we're going to also work around the images and we have good categories. We have a slider. Stay tuned. We're still working on our uh, actual application. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, support, become a Patreon.